Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate your likes and your subscribes. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. Pisces, we are seeing what is coming from now until February 14th. Um, I am not new to YouTube, but I have just started reading for all zodiac signs, individual signs here. So I look forward to reading for you more, Pisces. Self-love, boundaries, healing, and grace. It looks like you have been really doing a lot of healing, life detox. You've been cleansing. You've been cleansing your life. There could be a... a a better person coming in for you someone who's going to uh feel like arm candy this person may look at you as arm candy only want you abstinence some of you here my dog uh, had her way with this oracle um some of you have been abstinent you haven't been in, uh, intimate with other people. You've been cleansing out your life. You've been getting your life together, getting in your bag, healing. Very graceful, Pisces. Very beautiful. You could have very dark hair. Somebody else could have very light hair. You could be in a same-sex connection. There's a lot of attraction. There's someone, though, that could need a lot of work that's in your energy. This person could be someone from your past. I feel like you may have more than one person. I feel more than one energy coming towards you. Some of you have romance in the workplace. You may meet somebody new at work and you've been dealing with somebody else that has repetitive bad habits. In the next two weeks from now until February 14th, Pisces, you may find somebody um, has some excess baggage they need to take care of. You may have children to someone else that is uh, looking to score here. Purely sexual, no real intentions. Some of you are dealing with a mother or child of your father that has a lot of excess baggage and they've got to clean up their life. They put you into your spiritual awakening. They have forced you to start cleaning up your life. That is what soul connections are all about. A lot of you here have a, tell me about better person, somebody coming in that has done, done the work. This person will be focused on you. They're going to want more than just a sexual connection. It is a dream boy or girl. There's a lot of passion to be had with this person. This is someone who takes dating seriously. They're old fashioned. They could open the car door for you, for example, or want you to open the car door for them. All you ever wanted, wish fulfillment. Wow, Pisces, this is really good. This is all coming. This will be your confirmation that your healing is working, that whatever you've been doing to cleanse your energy, you're very psychic, tapped in people. I am a Scorpio sun, moon. I have six different signs in Scorpio, but my chart is 60% uh, water. I do have Pisces in my chart. A lot of you are um, very tapped in individuals and you're finding proof here that what you're doing is working, that you're actually manifesting in some really good things by changing your vibration and cleaning up your life. So, so good. This is probably the best reading I have had uh, for the signs I have done so far, Pisces. So good. Some of you were dealing with a third party situation, three of cups in reverse. You uh, removed yourself from. There was cheating, there was, there was lies, and you were tired of sex-based connections. So you've been abstinent. And, and you are standing in your power. Tell me about the dream boy or girl. You're meeting somebody who takes dating serious. You could be on a dating app or you could meet this person at work. Um, there is a tap work moment coming. It is going to bring a lot of change. But as I said, you are manifesting this here in the magician. You could be meeting a earth sign of Virgo. This will bring a tower. Tower is, is pointed to the future. Some of you um, experienced a, a situation with a lover that actually put hands on you. And I'm so sorry if that was the case. 
Some of you are cleaning up your life. You are healing Four of Swords energy and you are not looking back. Others, you could be dealing with someone who has a lot of excess baggage, but this person's coming back in a brand new energy, ready to take things seriously. But I feel for most of you, you have two people in your energy. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio or an air sign. Tell me about the person that has bad habits here in excess baggage. Tell me about the, that person. This person is single. If they were with a third party, they are now single. But they're very confused and they stalemated things. Page of Wands in reverse, the Two of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. This person's just experienced uh, something unpleasant. They've gotten some bad news. For some of you, you're going to find out this person's uh, health is not great. They stalemated your relationship because of confusion, because of third parties. This is most likely a person you share children with. This could be a fire sign. And uh, this person, they could have just manifested new money. You may have a new job opportunity coming in. You are getting confirmation that all of the work you have done on yourself is paying off. It's all paying off. So whatever work you have done, Pisces, congratulate yourself. If you are healing, if you are putting up healthy boundaries and cleansing out your life, it's about to all pay off. New money and a new honey coming in. Very, 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 very good. Tell me, Spirit, what signs are important? What message do we have for Pisces about their love life in the next two weeks? Something could happen in July. You could meet somebody that is born in July. You could have had a breakup around Virgo time. Again, though, you could be meeting a Virgo or you could have a lot of Virgo in your chart. I am a Virgo rising. Slow down and soak in it all and indulge carefree here. Practical, though, organized. You're setting realistic goals and you're moving on in to the future. You are uh, no longer taking breadcrumbs or sex-based connections. Most of you are ready to go. You're in this very divine feminine energy. And now we have June to August 5th. Something could transpire, if not in the next two weeks. Um, something around those periods here are going to be important. But I will say, some of you may be dealing with somebody who was born in the summer. You may meet a new person that's very compassionate, very loving, very kind, who, who is in touch with their feminine side, who is in touch with their femininity. You seem to be really balancing out your masculine and feminine energy. What is the spiritual message we have for Pisces about the next two weeks of their life spirit? What is the spiritual message that we have for Pisces? <clears throat> And I do have a snoring puppy in the background. I don't know if I've, I mentioned that. And I apologize if it's bothering you. Don't allow anyone to abuse your power or take it away from you. Remember, you will be treated how you allow others to treat you. Show them that you value yourself far too much to settle for anything less than you deserve. Period. And that is exactly what you're doing. Pisces, your energy is so spiritually evolved. I'm, I'm, I'm a little um, taken back here because your energy is so spiritually ev evolved. Some of you are healers. Some of you are psychics. You could be oracles, witches, warlocks in a good way. You may practice witchcraft in some way is a message I'm getting. You have so much love and, and, and really good things coming because of setting these boundaries and this self-love. Spirit is congratulating you here. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.